Triple Take is a 2D precision platformer that has a horror element to it. What a genre to add horror to, but they do it and I kind of like it. Also, the reason it's called Triple Take is because you run through each level three times. It's not as boring as it sounds and I'll explain right now. Okay, every level starts with Take One. You see those blocks on the screen that look a little broken up right now? Well, on subsequent runs, those will be completely destroyed and that changes the level. It might make the level more difficult by putting cannons in the way or flame geysers, or the level could completely change and a new route might open up. It's like an entirely new level, but you're playing through the same level. It's a little weird. It's interesting, I'll give Triple Take that, but sometimes the third run through a level is actually easier than the first time because you know what to expect at this point. Adding a few cannons doesn't really make it that much more difficult, especially when you know the developer wants you to go this way and that's the only way it can be completed, you know it's possible. Also, sometimes the new way that opens up is easier for me to play through for some reason. Either I have better skill in that area or I don't know what, but it is better. I guess that's not really the point. It doesn't progressively get more difficult. It just changes. Do note that the game isn't impossible. It's not created to be one of those extremely insane 2D platformers that you couldn't possibly beat. It's on the medium side, at least for me. There are some levels I had to play through multiple times, especially this area right here where I had to navigate through these bubbles. It was a bit of a challenge figuring that one out initially, but overall, if you're looking for an insane challenge, this isn't it. Now, while the game doesn't wanna make you pull your hair out, it does have these little interludes in between levels where it piles on this psychological horror element. This is absolutely my favorite part of the game. Not because it's incredibly unique. I've kind of played the game inside a game before, but they just have fun with it. And it does some things that I knew were possible, but I've never had them done or I've never seen them in this genre before. As you can see on the screen right now, they're telling me to go into my files, my actual file system on that hard drive and play with the files. I knew this was possible and I'm pretty sure other games have done it before, but it's a lot of fun. Moving on to Triple Takes Issues, and you can watch me try and defeat this boss, which I really did enjoy. The biggest issue with the game though is the controls. I know what you're thinking. It's a huge problem with the 2D precision platformer. And I agree, but it wasn't enough to make me stop playing. You can see me struggle with these pads on the walls. You have to attach to them and you can jump over to the other side, but I can almost never get it right the first time. For some reason, they are impossible to get detached from correctly. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, and maybe this is because I played with a controller instead of keyboard. They really want you to play with a keyboard. The game feels like it has this digital input system, but I love playing these games with a controller and it sort of works, so I had to go with it. I really wish Triple Take's controls were better though. Overall, Triple Take is fine, leaning towards good. The platforming is pretty much what you see is what you get. There isn't anything groundbreaking here, but with the addition of some psychological horror and it, cranks it up a little bit. I really enjoyed those parts of the game. As I said though, I wish the controls were a little tighter. Although I still think it's worth playing. I respect the game, but I'm not sure who to recommend it to. It's not extremely challenging and the psychological horror might be better suited for a different genre. So I'm left wondering, let me know if you fall in this game's extremely niche demographic. But that's all we have time for today. There's plenty of other videos for you to check out on this channel. Hit subscribe and or maybe subscribe to the Steam Curator link in the description.